was three years ago that a crash took the lives of three people from the Syracuse area. 25-year-old Jalmeria Jones, along with 19-year-olds Maurice Watkins and Tiffany Correa, all of whom died in the crash along Erie Boulevard East. Good evening, everyone. Tonight was all about keeping their memory alive while reaching young people in our city and make a positive impact in their lives. A hashtag was also created for tonight's events, Cuse Strong. News Channel 9's Nicole Somavilla shows us how they were honored tonight. Three lives cut too short, but their spirits will live on. They were joyous individuals. They were happy, they were fun, they partied, they celebrated. <laughs> So that's exactly what the community is doing to remember them. We've turned this day from a day of mourning to a day of celebration. It's, it's who can afford it. From poetry readings to singing and dancing, it's a memorial celebration. And through this event, Nitch Jones is choosing to remember his sister for who she was not how she was taken. She was one of the greatest people that I've ever met. Um, so short lived. He describes Jalmuria as a joyous person, someone who wanted to help teens in our community. And now he's helping continue the trend she started. We're raising money for scholarships. We're raising money for the young people's dance team. So we're giving back to the community just as much as we're receiving the love and the support that we're getting as well. Giving back letting our youth know they're loved, cared for, and supported. It's necessary in this day and age for us to push and catapult our young people to the places that they need to be. Places his sister and her friends will never get to see. But Jones is hoping that giving them support will inspire them to do good, keeping his sister's legacy alive. How I want their legacy to live on is through their brothers and their sisters, their nieces and their nephews, and to be remembered that they were happy, they were ambitious, they were um, go-getters, they were energetic, and they were loving individuals. Moving Traits he's hoping will be instilled within our kids. In Syracuse, Nicole Somavilla, News Channel 9. Nicole, thank you. Jones adds they're planning to hold a yearly celebration to remember their lives.